It's Misha Alish Karchiri. Welcome to the Age Ovale Winter Warmer Festival. These three poets, Deborah Moffat, Niall O'Galcor, August Cathy Niveldun, speak from a unique place in the languages. It's Kinta Gwil and Nohana Uin, the Lehenta Durka Shah. We need to hear their voices even more so in these unsettling times. It's more on a nor dumsa of that on shaw. It's time er bish con tusakur lesh on iha special to shaw. I want to welcome Deborah Moffat to the Winter Warmer Festival. Deborah was born in the US state of Vermont but she has been living in Fife, Scotland since 1982. Rugg Deborah, Erica, is Toshi a Kurfui a Fife Alban on Vlian Nejig Octodo. Deborah has won many prizes in both languages. She has published two collections of poetry in English, Far From Home and Eating Thistles, and a poetry collection in Gaelic. Don Nanul. Ta fault is Feherod a Deborah. Alterod. Asher Misha, um, we may live against the Gallic, I guess, picking out some bit Birla. I guess, uh, Toysha Hagri, um, I mean, a Levi Muyen, Dain Muyen, um, El Hirach, I guess. Um, well, exile, and I'm going to be reading poems about exile and um, immigration. And I'm going to read in both English and Gaelic, although the English ones will not be translation so much as um, what I would refer to as precis or sort of summaries. Um, and the first poem is um, in English, it would be called Mending Wall, and that might ring some bells with some of you who know the poem by Robert Frost. Um, and that was what I kind of had in the back of my mind when I wrote this first poem. I'm from Vermont where we had lots of old stone walls that were falling down. And um, I certainly grew up with the Frost poem, which he happened to actually write in the very place that I live now in Scotland. So that's quite nice. Um, Mending wall. Basically, the story in this one is um, Donald is mending a wall slowly, carefully, rebuilding the world stone after stone. He rests among the stones, smoke in his eyes, a stone in his heart. The wall is redundant, useless in the modern landscape, but his labor has value. He is recreating the walls. The walls are shaping the landscape. The land is shaping his life stone by stone. Genet. Akara Gavala Hadonal Akara Gavala Ag Opar Marbudurga Kusluda Kukuramach Aga Hokal Antur Klach and Jay Kloiche Shebalaguneo Mahon Balagari Gungarag Balakriche Gunhriachen Kruchira Gunrian Sul Gunhiel Estrika Vies Donal Agar Fosh Nat Hesu am Mesknan Klachen, Torch in Eder Avilian, Kiona Hulian, Klach na Krie, Akasia Hea Hur, Eak Uch Achumag Nambalakan, Nabalakan Akumag Nachira, and Cheer Akumag Abeha, Klach and Jay Klach. My next poem is uh, The Heron, it's about a heron, and it comes from there's a saying, you are not a hunter until you have shot a heron, a deer, and a raven. They're all apparently very hard to shoot. Um, 
and the story in this one um, is of a young woman lying under some trees. She's in labor. Uh, it's St. Bridget's Day, which some of you might know is she. St. Bridget is the um, patron saint of unwed mother of children of unwed mothers, and um, her father. She's saying, "My father has a gun, a sharp eye, and a good aim. He has shot deer, ravens, and if he comes here today, he will shoot a heron. You, the heron, that she's addressing. Um, and that's the story." Achora griech. Nach dana tu achora griech, nad Jesu er du hokar, le chasak an sanarvar. Is min am chrupan, fo ion nan kru, er lar na koya, er geokin a hiwash, ardos mukhyan, hoku dunyed. Is min am laya hiwlag, er antalu huor chruai er lafer bridge. A gun egma ahar, awar kinshach, is kum shiva. Lege fiag, lege fiach. Is mahege and sheo and you lege e achora griech. Unad chota liach goram, ard, ku, so aikshina hansen ochen glas. Misher lepe movash, gunach gilion and gelkin lar er son movara fashk. I'm now going to read a very short poem in English, which I'm reading to show. Um, I also write poems in Gaelic, in English. Um, which stand on their own as English poems, obviously. And um, this one came out of the same saying, but it's about something completely different. It's about, um, uh, well, it's basically set in uh, the Northwest Territories of Canada, where my father um, froze to death on, a, on an expedition. And so I sort of had him in mind when I was writing this. Um, the Long Game. Until you have killed a heron, a raven, and a deer, you are not a hunter. How they laugh. The rutting deer snorts, the rusting, the, the nesting heron coughs, the raven prophecies. Hand to mouth, river to river, mud and bog, cold and hunger. The shaking hand, the squint in the eye, the errant shot. Dissemblance. Let them laugh. Yours the bog, the decadence, the long game. Now the next one is uh, a, I wrote for a friend from Brazil um, who had never seen snow before. She came to Scotland, and this is how I imagined her um, when she did see the snow. And it, she told me later that it was exactly as as I had it. Um, and in English, it would be beauty in every snowflake. And uh, I did sort of make a translation of this one, but it's. It'll do. The winter will come, the snow will come, the gales will come, the ice will come. We who belong to this land huddle inside our dark, cold houses, warming ourselves beside our mean little fires, complaining all through the winter. But you, newly arrived from Brazil, the land of the blue skies and the golden sun, Oro Sobre Azul, you will be laughing at winter, singing along with the wind, dancing merrily over the ice, finding beauty in every snowflake. Um, Oro sobre azul is, uh, means um, gold over blue, and it, it means um, everything is wonderful. So, Aile kan skach blechik, hik gan gyaura, hik gan snakka, hik na gelten, hik gan jay. Bishinya winyas don du aisa, gleischen natayen doracha fura. Gargara grichenia surach, a gerin fad and la. Ahusa, or higin a Brazil, chirnam spior and gorama, chirna grenia orega, oro sobre azul. Bio shine richegel, a dancing le sunt erange, a lorg aliak anskach blege, a jain of garda richegel. Ah, this next poem is called An English Ship of the People. And I think there's going to be a translation on the screen, yes. Um, and it's um, it's a true story in 1739, I have to read this because to get the facts right, MacLeod and MacDonald, um, the, the clan chiefs, kidnapped people from their own clan and um, who lived in Skye and Harris and shipped them off to America 
to work as indentured laborers, but uh, the ship was shipwrecked and landed near Donaghadi, where the people were freed. Um, and I'm imagining the story um, of a man who, or a person who remained there in, um, in Ulster, and this is maybe the descendant of one of them talking about, well, no, this is the person himself talking how it was. That's right. And then there's the, uh, you'll see the little short lines um, in between the verses on this um, translation. And these are uh, names of um, just the, um, of the places in Sky that they came from. And it, it was, it's a little ditty that has been passed down as well. Um, only half of it's there, so you'll have to, that'll give you the idea of the poem, but it doesn't have quite the ending of it. Uh, anyway, ah, it is there, it's all there, okay, good. Soyach nan dunya, kulas nulan nagiha es onag namara, slash garan nan taun er slitke na lunke, plakadaich nan shioles, parakadaich nan skot, grulas brunail es dach rox skaral. An and do and tool haroach ranach is rana, Osnak is achkaim, duichen is minachag, Evik iagach is kronachai kolasach, lak nambo, Arivik loish, falig namara, salas jeor, falas is moon, falig an ekel, a galar a savash, falig nambio, falig namara, ben holta gorum hul nam fair skiavach. Hutchikun ro and lonk a dol go Carolina tua, cheer nan coil in ak cherik go bra. Moinimus mochial, ben du gareich. Acham ye no han an art ulai. Cheer glass nan achin re, is far and bimi him, is ana vias mochial. A few lines from some um, Gaelic songs that you might have recognized along there. Uh, the next poem. It takes place in a concentration camp in World War II. And some of you might recognize some of the, the Psalm 137, which I've pinched a bit from here and there. Um, and in English, it would be under the shadow of the smoking chimneys, there in the mud I sat half dead with nothing to eat but crumbs of old bread. And there I cried in silence when I remembered you, Zion, my eyes dry, my throat parched, my body withered, like the harps on the trees, the wires of the fence sang in the wind, the barbed strings lacerating my hands, blood dripping from my fingers. But still my captors wanted music and mirth from me, though my fingers were weak, my hands destroyed, my violin covered in blood. And though I was dying in the mud, I remembered you, O Lord, in the day of Jerusalem, as I played Wagner for the commandant. Rakuvnich me. An shin hui me an sachlaper, foskal, nan shimularen jetachal, litvarev, guni ach graem aren, marvethachag. I was gul me an shin osiasal, an oor a chuvnich me er sayan, mo hul gunje or mo veil eat more, mo hort krienta. Marklar sekin er na kran of shalich, vawaren na fensa shine rishaglich. Na ceotlin gachach a reupag mo lavan, mo veor a sielig fara. Ach iariad sin a chuk am braichin a smi oivnys oram, es gan cluichin ceol daib, gedafa mo veor gan luth mo lavan mwylche, es ceotlin mo ilo fwylche. Es gedafa mi gubasach agan sin an sa clafar, cuvnig mi a hiarna, an an la Jerusalem, es mi a chluig Wagner dun a comandantin, gan sioltach nam laif yes. Uh, the next poem uh, was written for a competition for which the theme was homecoming. It was the year of homecoming in Scotland. And in this case, my uh, narrator is uh, coming back from America, probably. And he uh, doesn't go well for him. In the poem, I refer to a she, which could be either a woman or Scotland itself. So, um, in English, basically, it was a long time since I left her, but when the call came, I returned. The night I spent with her was long, with only the poor music of the pipes holding us together. Both of us disappointed, she by my clumsy music, the music of a stranger. 
and I by my own playing, the tunes evading me, all my skill deserting me, and between us, a lost country in the middle of the ocean, fading from sight, and the two of us blinded by an impossible dream. It was sad the day I left her, but sadder still my return. In vain, the piper's invitation. Kurig Pipara. Is father von Ura Yagmi, Agus is father on a chula mi voipa. Achanegagaram, Agus hilmi hooka. Is father on oike a haimiria, Gunach kyol boch na pipa, Gracuma rikela. Babrishig dur, Aganji his acoin. Mochiol koigrich, Kerapak akra. Mishigam kronachag hen. A hula rude gam kregshin. Mobi organ lu, gun heum. Moport na porta troga gas machonia, as agas eterin, do ich kalche ana meo na huain, a dollar shiala, gus agas shinia gadala, cliff foin eishlink. Truan la yag me e, agnas truiga bulich, mochilic. Giovannas griag pipera. Ah, uh, this next one is another immigrant coming back from America. Um, and again, things don't really go all that well. Um, she's come home, um, just a flying visit, she says. Uh, and I'm looking at her, the, the narrator. Um, and I, I can see in her eye, um, well, in Gaelic there's an expression, um, a friend's eye is a good mirror. And I can see the pity in her eye. Um, and basically, uh, the friend is quite rich and very Americanized. And then she says, I just had to see you one more time. Uh, her voice was hoarse, weak, every word scattered by the wind. One last time, which perhaps is the last time they'll ever meet. Sul Karaj, Hili Yachi Mara Hilius Kach, as Je Blianakin Haul Harish, Lan Uevrash Lan Jimish. Just a flying visit, Arsisha. A poca ganera ritu machluis. A sejic trum vile mar uspag utrum. You haven't changed a bit, Arsisha. A kisman skahan sul carriage. Is me a faikin gundogav a sul truasrium. La blas americana herakainch. Kruagas nagu. Fuach na live. Aragadam palches. And neither have you, Arsmisha. A coyed erna broken snas for eike. Is er a kasen green. A sheer gluosad eran lar. I just had to see you again, Arsisha. A gutha fast fan. Tuchanach. A hula fakel. A school de glish. A hul. One last time. Ah, this next one is, um, I'm imagining a conversation between two people who are dead, which is, I guess, the final emigration or exile. Um, and in English, in my dreams last night, I heard the dead talking, you, my love, visiting my mother, conversing in the kitchen over coffee and cigarettes about politics, books, music, Marx and Shakespeare and Bach. My mother generous and hospitable, you bold, confident, a settlement of sorts in the making, needlessly, my mother long dead, you miles away on an inaccessible island lost to me forever. Rechia. Bina mara va brigan sanoiche, is migan clunchen. U moruin, a tavel ermovahar. Coffee is toichen sachichen, cobra veohar. Mufolitics agas litricus agas kyol, marx agas Shakespeare agas bach. E furinach fiele. Udana kainche, shors the rechi, beave, ach ebeg sta. E mara fadlina canarash. O father, who am on an island, Doruction. Misha do hurtak nam le piluam. Agestric regliacas nam mare. And I just have uh, one last one in parting. Um, that's the name of it, both in English and in Gaelic. And I'm a mad, a lot of you will know the um, poem that. Um, Colin Kilia leaving Derry, a blue eye looks back, and I've kind of pinched that here. Um, and in this case, um, the poet is uh, looking back 
at this troubling domain, which may be Ireland, maybe um, America, maybe Scotland, depending where I'm leaving, um, with fondness, with esteem. But there's a blank page before the poet's eye, and it's hard to go against undone, which is either destiny or go against the, the poem. Uh, so the poet is basically having to return to his homeland, her homeland, and to the blank page on the desk. Um, so, Ansan Jealachag, Hane Guntani Kriach Erantul, Eria Grian Amarech, Marasavisht, Shiny and Londu was Hion and Locha, Agas Bully Clack and Ans Gachweile, Shale, Suglas Avardle Asaye, Eran Aran Jekarshel, Limes, Limur. Achadulik van for hula vard. I guess it's dulik kuranage and dine. Shamula. I think I'm done. If that's okay. Kahole. I wish a very warm welcome to Nile O'Galcor. Glasgow's first Gaelic poet laureate is Mara Darren Anne Fraser, Nua Varduk and St. Chanos, modern poetry in the old style. Is a Nile O'Galcor, Cade Vard Glasgow, Togoch Nusak Filiokta Falsha Age, Baha Ur Agusun Nutrilaha, is Kyan Ur Fovla Echacht Imlena. Tough fault to write an um, I'd like to begin with a short poem which comes from an older term for a honeycomb, not honeycomb, but honey sieve or honey riddle, and not the kind of riddle to which there is an answer, but the kind you might use when panning for gold. Kriher Mjalle. Mar helam don lúr is sírig nhachtid, ieif mi san achlir abrast úr, mar chrán in cún vo viachif miale, bí mi a diachig dán don rún. Cúd ar bríhir tron a chríhir gus an síl, fiúgn an strehen cors dís eich gil hórich míl. I want to use some of the time that I've got with you tonight to tell a story. It's a story about a young woman who was, so the story goes, thrown down the mountainside by her father, the king, when he learned that she was pregnant. In this, the first poem in a sequence that I'll return to, she awakes alone at sea and realises that the child she's carrying is still alive. In Glasgow today, we call her Sintinoch, but it's believed that her given name was Tenu. Gran Maher a Glug, the Machluish, Yaking Minam Hoy in the Bona Creek, Machrekin Broch of Pug Machurp, Gushmi and in Gurach, I the Hoying, Gushk and Lenin and Vrain, Yalav Main through us, is Yavmi through us dish, Mach Gri a Hooch, call the Vahid for Hyal and Ooch. Ach a bio an ish, it a vood voin. Hag av me till you the reerin, nach drain your reev ach milyig, ach in gil your show. Tokia glassachu. Can he miss you the mavaxa, kyan cheerne, like law can thing natal dish, mengan in yalta, mongo. Since my two children arrived. I've written lots of poems for them. I've got a, four, a short poem, which is not the one you can see on the screen, a four-line poem, not translated, called just Maher Chainch, Mother Tongue, in which it says, Hadu with me mochane no mavahe dach vuet, again pearl er fade, a hag ach uladuan. I didn't get my language from my mother, but from you, all my poems are for the future. This poem is about my son's first word, 
über. Kann wie ich der Weg, er gesagt, hier dachte, klein je mit der Change, eng je mit Wessens Blaster. Uel, egal wie ich der Krön, nimm vor, ich ein, nicht will sie, ab ich ein Uhr der Lehre, Margaret Brier schien zu wollen. Uel, gab Blas jetzt, du hohe Messe lief, komm ich der Grohe Ruhe, er gesagt, ja, uen je, ich noch Jerak. Well, rach and crave it son and fairest meal she share the hook of she is gave the Lord kair and maya I guess two good vokig and a breen and fachlin soon a kind and so great touch your sulfur. Well, come a lot not to the nahev own na aprig nach ein gut ta hag ach fair you furin vrieren wessen oimen grei echkeles alje ua I've been writing a lot in the old poetic forms common to Ireland and Gaelic Scotland sometimes echoing the verses of uh, the Dan Girach of the poetry schools and this is a poem like that. It's from my new book, Full Vlau, which is full of things that grow, especially things that grow where you don't want them to. Um, and this poem takes its name from the plant the modern Irish calls Kashervan. Um, but in Dweli and in Deneen, it's called Bjarn and Brige, St. Bride's Little Gap Flower. And if this poem had a subtitle, it might be On Being Asked by His Daughter to find one for her hair. Bjarn in Brige. Hodden flur or son de heen, vave me hutse, Bjarn in Brige. Don hrunaket mo huye, if son flur vik or vuye. Ischadach hat ho palch, be flur and be fun ye much. Farren be inna fas, fas ye tse hula hatch. So Mershina Hamagra, Marna Flurich in Orga, Kumente, a Hanum Lak, Donavev no Yev, Buyak, So Legran Hin Yabik, a Han Gian Koshich, and Terigshig, a Vev of Ri, Donavar Roya Gibli, Madam Flur, your Madam Dan, a Seho Grach, the Bjarn and Brijigas as Morris Arsh, and Mach Menimne. And to varst. Mershin, Hargach Lus Silis, Vev me ya magrajilis, Don Vyarn and Bridge is ye as all in a kind filly, a hun snuffle grag who mean, the hag ahid gan ye, Gur buyegos of von green, Mar or ruagan, me tell he. To our tale, Tenu's boat reaches the far shore where she's taken in and found by a local holy man who takes it in against the wishes of the community. Fal to Herevang Ark Marbadul Vishnabiachiv Voig me ye na lakshe sara, Lurt me in gurach suas even trai, Sla crag nam grain, Hook me ye yachi. Mirvel, Kudi kars and yapi, Yadig me a hanel or malaith, And che of a marav, Ye kach, Is a biarak o id a chlatach. Hel me gumbalai, Kroon femet, I the kyaun. Yin she gom and lenu. I guess yaumig and tovin magrag. Don fast jahanig id shachrin and embath the tuig, say gunahith. Gunor no erigit. Gun shol. Gun rav. There's a famous meeting place under the clock at Glasgow Central Station, which is the the bigger 
of the Glasgow train station is the one where everyone comes and goes. And recently, under that clock, there is a piano. And I've been thinking a lot about this piano that sits there right in the very centre of the country and about the thousands of people, people like me, who, at least before COVID-19, would rush past it every morning in a hurry, not even noticing the piano was there until someone sits down to play. Nu the hanig me vine a half. Vrisht me in so her bala flishy hill. Klishk nevadal shachet. Koa sure. Arsee it. Go bore le glorigarst. Lend me orem gibaloe. A gas nevan la had his rain in glor. Sing gathem fuim of a homo. There's an old Glasgow rhyme which depicts a coat of arms, the bell that never rang, the tree that never grew, the fish that never swam, the bird that never flew. These poems are about a mother and a son, a mother, Tenyu Sintinach, who is an immigrant, who doesn't speak a word of the language, and her boy, Kentigern, later Mongo who becomes Glasgow's patron saint. But Mungo of Glasgow is also the patron saint of bullied children. This is the last poem I'll read from the sequence. And it dates from when Mungo was still just a schoolboy, his first miracle as yet unperformed. And in the poem we hear Sinserf Sherevan, who we met earlier, Mungo's stepfather, his tutor, describing what happens when the other children come and falsely accuse Mungo of having killed a robin in the hope that he'll be punished. And Chian nach drain ski. Lai and Chian gunglu is it, even lar. Hanigat men grashk, sauna yeg bru yerak, vara vesena, and gil ye shave, a rainy tachrakshin, marbegra. Had to canade, ach le grag, rain ye net le laven, agas hage, anil hochgit la, either da ski, skirlig bear, few gahiches crav. Yanni Chitan i the Vosh, a Kellerich i the Lechosh, Musta Hokiore from the Sklaw. He read a Hadaklish and Gilly the Laven Brish, Cluis Silis the Bulig Ski and Yon. The island buys a heart, the wahan dinner of the Allahar Gage Chart and Ocht, I guess, Homai buys a heart, the Oveil, as Iriorum Chart Shaw, Tasulam, Gamimij, Ulig, Lahela, Inariru, Igar Gorki, Galua, Gormaigat. My second book was mostly written, at least how I remember it, late at night waiting for my son to wake up. And it takes its name from an old story which says that the, the, the Angus Og, Anus Og, 
sang so beautifully that anyone who heard him sing would fall into a deep sleep that lasted three nights and three days. In this poem, I call on the famous Irish harper, Terlough O'Carolan, to come and sing my son to sleep. Hika chlui a chlar sir gael faun na haichi a dumvach gog kudig e a chatel which a live yeish in chi dod o nem faich it to a hool down a hool is green a chlad birding hut to ear nach iach gur bean ye veal is heavy gath ach chaverekin den ye dal o the sounds of leish in kyol I can share or north it's oud he ne has kun ye be all bone the hook and mach go go a hoof is a hyals al gachniach a chwein ye go go an 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 suwein nam trila gormaikith I now want to introduce Cathy Niveldoon. It's Phil Agus Dramador e Cathy Niveldoon. Vuig on Knusuk Isteni Uhi, Agalif Sakyo, Dushin Arachtus, Savlian Galvila Isa Okjeg. Cathy is a poet and dramatist. She has published four collections of poetry. Her latest book won the Arachtus Prize in 2018. And she has a new collection coming out soon. It's time to exulation. To fall to road, ah, Cathy. Ravmil Makat, um, to me, Anna Hostavelev, uh, to, um, uh, when Morantang Ashin, um, Eilish. We she um you don't go with more lar nor chuck roll uh ak exula neve all of uh well tomega breath. So and ke dawn of egomanishtiv no frog frog a machnuf me a heen gan khari a su fuckal o flaha Three machrikin tani. Gwim er heket na hegipte. Bandian of rug. Bandian a man chowra. Daunter maquidavon. A hulis lawn. Imod yog poor. Erin sail. Um, a thank you here also to Gabriel Rosenstock and to David Knowles for their translations of some of the poems I'll read here. The next poem uh, has no English uh, version. I wrote it here in this cottage uh, at the foot of Mount Brandon. Uh, some people would call it a hill rather than a mountain, but um, and in proportion, that should be fair. Uh, but here in West Kerry, uh, in the southwest of Ireland, so this is an ancient, um, well, of course the mountain is ancient, but there's an ancient association um, of it with gods, uh, with um, the Dagda and Kromdov, uh, and with centuries of pilgrimage, um, also with monks and, of course, the mist. Uh, and this was an early response of mine to... Uh, coming to that this hill uh, and to its call to come and climb. So the uh, title translates something like I'll go walking in the mountain or on the mountain. Raita ishul erangunuk Shniak lamil klaka antena tisha in a shasim Fayam fwehnaun 
fake nok rainen ach time corona right to shul erin gnok kahit shul gonna glory and spare kadu do rahne grene i bruarum kahit legend to gion is to uder ne mark prinu in me himpel kahit dol velach is li le lais ne mala right to shul erin gnok Snowden sprit namanach er khosan fe kyo os mukun kroken shidlo ruin on tail for do fe nabi di right a shul erin dinok to mot liam egestak bin a skel tel klof imre her namach i shohin nguihe i glok i shirt brainen mo closer bar Right to shul Aaron Gnuk. Um, he don't ella um as an larnua, uh. So it's as sure as no way to leave an ish. Um, this is the book which I'll read from now. Agalev Sikio Gnuk Rainen, um, and it's the most recent one. And it's a conversation with the same mountain, which uh, typically has its summit in the clouds or in the mist, as it had today. Uh, and when I say a conversation with the mountain, the mountain itself does speak. Uh, and also we hear from one of its disciples, its devotees, uh, we hear from ghosts and from climbers, uh, a, a deity um, from the mountain and from sometimes from dwellers and uh, other visitors. So the next poem, um, well, I suppose people have their own reasons for climbing this mountain. And one of them I discovered was to fight off depression. So um, and in this particular poem, the word the is used, which uh, is another form of the word dove. And Luan Maish Egendera, Agisan Fukal Fish, a high guest vision. So Dulgus Egrinin a the. Er last Magrama Begum is squealum. Skaran on fubble vig in order. Quailin is kasm erma volag, a mach tri danuskult, a nias erma lava, mogluina eran ver tash. Shasin kasta on throa varti serer, mohron dirahe eran nush, du eke se dubacus. Quimult nisul. Spray ng egg, mianfach, chanam mohuile eta, olive, gomaul, toaster, ordeem ma auri, is chanam mohuile iguinin a di, good toaster, ordeem a rishdir, equivalent leshen ihe, glinim, rupam love rome, quayak, crumum in aig nesuhye. Scanum, sus tree the narcatus is scurum iguine nadi. Strakum la me inne jalgafa, laumum me ekla is she's tree the motherhaft creasa, staulum on dove. Dulgus jangnahanum, scraum go fluske sullish, scraum. Kolishna fuller, go shahum mokrak, moish. So, uh, this next poem is in the mountain's own voice, uh, part of what I call its ashling, uh, Mo Aurora. Gurnolan mokanvos ein dacha. Gogurian tust solus a verint a urm. Fuenus cult o tarinct, either talavis spare. Trina futter, 
Bubon bug bone is bulgon bui she is rose a fasten carmine. Shilter cluvarum de hio gahne. Nuchter lochon gorma os mcun. A osun in a lochana is in a lair skoil gan chorin. Pekin ma rompa ma ekla bracken ma ver screed. Taibshin. Dahne nor howlik and talion tor real. So in um, recent decades, uh, people have come together in groups and uh, even in crowds uh, to support those with cancer and their fight. Um, so this next poem is spoken by a climber. Nyark. Bermidlin or Badrin, no patakla. Lene veru he is the folka. Dordon in our ninkin, a derlin. Grima olch, grima kmad, this ligan doin fain kanasu. Mantra edrum is law, no shachpan, no bleen, or kyanach. The kibbe dinner will she dulda. Gane vet reaver or gummus. Avrunna Drapamid Scoragin mar ain is boomid Drapamid is kylamid Drapamid is drapamid so. Now the next poem is based on um, this map <laughs> The, uh, it's the Ordnance Survey Ireland map of Mount Brandon and it's bilingual and uh, when I came to the mountain at first I found it as a non-conical, non-pyramid um, I found it a bit of a beast of a thing to figure out and to um, uh, understand so I turned to this map and uh, it preserves many of the more local place names in Irish, and I found them fascinating. So here, a disciple of the mountain speaks, and um, I think I've given a prose translation on this one. Mm -hmm. So, Knuck Vrenen, OSI. Ulas dis the vaski angaka, idiliota down is bui. Nochten tu kum. La kruple tu, de la elefosi go hyangalat, bean le bean, on conner in a ding adru. Lanum gok forka diet, o the frump go di the smulk, a smur healen a yati and dangin. Tajor of an dragon or it, nis mon on crut of run nun srown vrin ervon derbel. Rinian Mavir, the Kur, the Knob Drummer, the Tea, Jenim Una, the Dorokrik, the Klopadi, the Link, the Kohrovra, the Kerkil Kolornika, the Ainta, in the Snoha Risha, Harda Kakruna Derik. Adni Matrish Merlurg, Krohe Eged the Imlin to Kuirde, Kosoin Kaperhe in Nuk Kro Yarag, is fair. Sawil tatu denin dargart, hus agarak long. Tarangin, clona litrica ord, clona litrica ord, ma ord. Shilly fitcher, a yelbeen imavil. Moss a tampon, maka and veal. Kogaro kinish, erigushna. Luim list na quail vui, kaum na kali, kanukan e goir. Kameen na kanal, drom na mutka lochan vunan, is loim lis na mo vaan, macha na gab, vail an tosh, loch tarav, is fulach na marav. Chaunta i da glaunta i ga fokil, tosperoin ama u doiga, a chaev niantu maravik blohna orsa go docht i da da rahna. Taiv shi in a lug. Pestina, lechre, a skelta is a ruin, bashta aungabun egabrihre. 
Bruchten Duilonen, to a Uskelt Osna Karnogasa, a Luther Leheglo, to a Hedach Bio, Hugget the Hishi Sheen Nitte, the Cray, the Othra, a Vahu, is Lon Olus the Vlinta, a Squeela O Shrinta, to a Anna Lu, Con Machina, is a Hooplol Inte, Le the Luganum Naka Illa, is a Willaka Le Hinchant. Uh, nish ta um drapador alert i guess um should then no eran eran gonna turlingt bisha kaxeleru nyapeler Gok kintacht nyab kinte. Gok fragre gan schlies jachaun gan choren in a himpel. Telgehe e vohraga a machas terling bisha as megabitkas or namoraka, lopadolum e rihe tishlacha, three arshingacht vog von, har stuamacht on kanik, har vuld of lienta nor e paulte reeve. Ega crown dalgach on crave squealter, er halav nauseous hoch in bakshinu, iguina a horse yuk the fein. Utamo legamuyega gumulan chidla star is la rave star, e glow cloch, rock de a hlorian foes fwitten the queerer. Gadigdam seansa is kern kyo vroin a yang nu chown a nosarum in a clugged. Lig the viewtus nyavoklacha na hoche, mochlusa flucha. Lauf them tosta, saulacha er mochason in a monover hod dehenlishen gyoa kalurun kalurun rome. Deten on kusan a lanunt. Gach kusan gudi a gaul a immel, a scorna, a veen. Er I gudi luck no a max na fermenti er faluin. Lig them on vrin am a fum, a am. Gon is a gum on corre a lanhid. Filorum nurabeg mahin to sancha egane draw gon loan. Is may olive. Bajer on shin. Lartlat, fe cad in anum crim, a scoob on sutme. And um, I suppose uh, once you get into the mountain, um, you might be ready to listen to the gods and um, you might hear one of them. Lart. So just skull a lart. Lig don Maria C. Mao. Mao. Nis Mwile, he moi his main a hoche. Agus Stad, Sukir, Gan Vrain a hilla o Krushkin the Cree, a tall lawn the o'er Adrum did the Vrashtin tea. Agus Sig, he dust nefa the Russa, he venishe the Hahi. To lawn the umus coiche. And now we'll return to another part of the mountains, Ashling. So, in the voice of the mountain itself. And um, uh, yeah, this is about immigration rather than emigration. Tar Augusto. Mata kusum tuit, tari drama klasse is magunta. Mata benach tuit, tar chan mahibra kibyo. Mata dali vlach, tar fe unavreed mukyo. Faram falche riv glin akri, riv agne lachen uskilte. Altim tahi no, kurtori no, 
an lech is an log. Tar on Africa is on Erher, on Tyria, on Eritrea, on Afghanistan. No tar a rus o Benishela. Toskoi pancha er moshkirti. Tawas rawa de hehe. Teh moore an tiger keltig. Teh homor le hostoin. Teh moore ne grihe moore. Teh bioga volcheke. Teh lawn ach schli igoni de rune bresche unter. Teh saulehe. Teh sauri. Teh follower. Teh oliver. Teh treke. Te tita, te teen town, te le kyolis bri, te her undoer, te her nashi. Tar har yar har tar shakhum, ta loichra pergum is fwihin and shut the fubble. Tar is jock in mobaro, tar agus tog. Uh, a ghost or a taivsha speaks now and uh, it's a ghost from famine times and it speaks on three different nights. Savahon lelin on the verta. Ihe. Falches jack dot launch a canita eganocris. Ta bi a gown ach a rogen se fut an socket. I ha elle. Tritis chak is pneumonia or it a cree. Tan crinacht it a win ach rear me dorit an wien wee. Agus i ha elle. Ma crying shiv agus etin or if. Tan tiglan ach tigmid burgos. Foshkig is jacklin is rhinamid live on boss. So this one is in the voice of um, the skull again, the deity. And uh, of course, in times of great poverty and oppression, um, many babies die and um, there were times in here where um, burial of a child unbaptized or um, uninitiated into a Christian church uh, could be a great source of worry for parents. Jaschano don dishmahor no gielen da lanem fanacht i limbo. Or dig the vach, er the rulen. Shul go maul, go di an chorin. Banig cloch, is bugge er clay. Sheen the lanav in a ui. Lag an lag, o secune. Tear er the gluine, is guiger ash iri. Oskil on Turma or dig the bop er the woolen shul go mau goody on chorin banig cloch is buggy er clay sheen the lana in a ui um, this next poem is stand back, repent, and it's again a deity speaking. Shashir, love a sinair, is shashir, on maktira avariktu, on madarua a lovachtu, on ronyog a yagtu led the luas, on ganin a nivniktu, on Maria a gav to a nashta. Came Nigshir on Munna, on Vilnip a yag to her a nurt. On Shrong Yalgar 
a crocus in order. Fan fantasir, go na an vifer to, go na flandofer to, go dalavofer is go sparofer to, go nowanofer, lochofer is farigofer to, shashir, go digo noon kalofer to, lienre is sheense nemach lo saurig. And um, I have no translation for this one, um, nor the next one. So um, this one is Bontust, and uh, it's, um, I suppose, it's when the mist and fog uh, cloaks us and in that sort of muted world. Um, and I try and capture something of that here. Bontust. Bontust er an weil, go muggen an teer, fish ki hana irene on veer, dahian an neskach an kunis. Is maklosa egieskach as echter na boine, taifshian mail uin treed an rodon, jaurian an fe kunis an e. Eshtim le ribinu is la hachyavu an kyoig, karavile ginelt er mahrua, byog byaun er valvu an le, kuplalan quillen arua er yaba kwera. And um, this one is um, an extra one. Uh, and I suppose when you're walking on the mountain, well, certainly when I'm walking on the mountain, I'm very aware uh, that it has a history. Uh, and um, I, I consider every footstep I take almost, you know, that there are bones beneath us and bones of the people who live here now, of their ancestors. And um, then I remembered that there was a, a genocide here in 1580 and... Um, it was, uh, this is spoken by a uh, ghost of that war. And genocide, unfortunately, um, I think genocide translates, but I have no translation for it here. Kine yihu kui deg hochdo. Nakosa is nakosa. Nakosa is Nakosa, win barahishla as a kiele savri, re an ufosh, ufos er an oil got bokton. Nalova a cre is a cre, a casa der sus is a kaila there's a town rui yarig. Nahanam naka a kalkig, anam, 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 a yeg er veal, anam naka nesanta is eed bower er ogert a mosh. Yanni Stitcher, a Nilo good winter, Yanni Mara Uscor a winter, Yanni Imha, Markyanavon le Pokuiha, Minoiv a cook a shutti is a nairi, fe skirti, fe yapka, fe clocker, a gordig sahi is bati, a hoi cussy vac, good dig or cuss grief a gossa fuha, Satlir eragano, on cray ruiter. Nahogli. Oh, na hogli. A matoin clock yana, chasader, sha, chasader, iguina mutal is in aig couple, plaukader, plaukader, palta, stalta, eg a side jury, lord grey, a gyar as shli go di na hogli ele, a lame is a lame, leach in yig leach, con bre er claw no ga, er koran no clock, no eran now it vain, ana ault, il kyana, vilata, a lost kid, a squit, a love of Uha, a hog is a dog, di can he eat, eat shoot a name for hog. Owlt, a lanary, down a sauce of a horu, sauce of igleave a car tree scoig, sauce of an egg minocrina, a eskind crotcher, e imona a row marrow. Owlt, gaulder, a kurdig on glown is a varshal a machas. Save by the Maragreke Erstone Namaru.
në marit tanore, e lig e rëhjele, is e rëdit kjo fur, e foke e gëndost, e shkel, e inshënd. Shëtën tonë dërnëk, and I think I'll leave the final word with the mountain itself, a poem with a little hope, I hope. Agus ta se imumorim të lin o mërla. Ashli gan pënik kuacht në dajrëp. Ta i vriak dëm fëdo, krin në vëri shi, in a gwilte, in a niri er më thlasa. Gho shi is is fi irgom gok kraun dhe në dajrëp. Sholok traumli ku mihe, in a rev mo krin ljake is doche is gwilte. Gho shi is is sleden an slada in a nuv liorm, mo krin er snov er mwyr, for i shi orsa ima ilasraka. Taivriach dama rish da reir, krin in a vori shi, in a gwilta, in a nuri, er ma thlasa. Ta ish geta mini arum, abir, kahna kwerig shiv, na shielta. Gwer mila maakib, mor an tain. Har bora thiasi. Thank you all for the wonderful readings. And this should be play Bjorgogren or Kursi Filiakta. We'll have a chat with the poets. And Makaid Kesht, my first question is Kata Spragshiv Kondolimon Filiakta. What inspired you to take up poetry? Anybody? Deborah? <laughs> oh, I'll start. No. Uh, I. In English, I'm, I think I was writing poetry since I was a child, but in, in Gaelic, it, it, it came upon me quite suddenly, really. Just one time, I, w I think it was the story of the flood in the Bible, and I just thought, I want to put that into to Gaelic. And I started with that, and then one thing I've led to another, and I just kept going. <laughs> but um, I don't know if, how other people get into especially writing in, in a second language um, or a parallel language. Um. And you write as fluently in English as in Gaelic? Or do you turn yeah, to Gaelic yeah. at your time? Sorry? Do you do do like to, um, to Gaelic at certain times? Um, yeah, I for a while I, I wrote only in, in Gaelic. Um, well, I had a book to do, I had a commission to do the book, so I did. And now I take them turn about, um, not necessarily on purpose, it's just what comes up. But you know, you just sort of wake up one morning and think, this will be this is an idea, and this is an idea in Gaelic, and then I might have another idea, and I'll, I'll know that isn't Gaelic, that's definitely English. I mean, sometimes it's kind of obvious, but other times it's, it's it could go either way, but you, it doesn't. It's just really, from the moment it's born, you know where it's going <laughs> and what language it's in, at least I do, yeah, so. Nalnukyati. Well, I think um, I only read poetry. I'm sorry. Coming. Oh, thank you. Um, I it's um, it's sort of, I I started writing as a prisoner, I think, um, at school, uh, where um, I remember my very first poem and. I had no, um, I had no writing skill for it in particular. But I remember we were I doing an, an English exam, and I was asked to. I was finished early, and um, so the a teacher said to me, um, 
write a poem while you're waiting. So it was like an order, and I thought, okay, but how do I write a poem? And I remember the first lines, but I don't remember it all, but it was, behind the bars I sit and stare and look at trees so very bare. And it was actually, I, I know that my um, poems as a teenager, and that was when I was 11, when I was a teenager, then I was, um, uh, it, mm, they were emotions that, and happenings that were, um, that were really very difficult for me. And I, I found, looking back, I hadn't spoken about them with anybody. So I was speaking to the paper and it, that was my expression, but I think I, for some of them, I was writing songs. I, I felt that songs expressed what I wanted um, to say sometimes, other people's songs, like important songs. Uh, but so I think I was trying to do that for a while. Um, and then uh, turning to Irish, I mean, I didn't seriously write as a poet um, for um, until very late, but um, I did, when I moved here to Corcoguina, um, I wasn't a fluent speaker or anything, but I, um, I found myself trying to keep a diary in Irish to, uh, because it helped me to think in Irish, it helped me to, it gave me a chance to say things uh, ahead of, um, yeah. Same. So it, you had a bit more time to think. So that was the main thing. And um, so, but I was just, it was incredible. But Nuala Nigonal came to the area. She did a half day workshop. And I was, uh, I asked, could I come? And I was more than welcomed. And I absolutely loved it. And then, um, she gave me a lot of encouragement and later on then she ran a series, she ran a year and a half of workshops here then uh, at a later date. So that gave me a really great start, uh, plus other uh, workshops in the area. So it was, um, uh, so it was partially to uh, work on my Irish <laughs> that I started writing poetry in Irish, um, but it was, um, I suppose it is where I found myself then finding expression for a lot of things um, and um, it's my, although I try and write sometimes in English now, uh, well sometimes I, you don't really choose, I think it's, um, but the idea comes in Irish or it comes in English, it's uh, your first words, your first part of it and so if I work in English it's because it came to me that way but I find I'm working much more in Irish. Now my second question, Conus a chuig on pandemic, nu an trevse ding glasala i Weimarov, did the pandemic affect your writing process? I've, I've not done a huge amount of writing this year. I mean, it's, it's just been, I, I've got, we have got two young children and for a large part of the year, they were here all full time as were we. Um, mm. So, I mean, I finished my book on the last year of 2019, the last year, the last day rather of 2019. Mm. So it's been okay. I've, I've been in that kind of natural period sometimes where after you finish something, you know, working on for a long time, you, um, I just time to kind of, Try new things, or reflect, or or, or take a pause, or, or whatever. So it's, I've not been under pressure a lot of writing, um, but it hasn't been a big year for writing new things um, for me so far. So it's been what I often find myself doing and have over the years when you, you can't get that space is doing some translating and doing other kind of things that you may associate with original poetry, which aren't original poetry, just doing doing that and making some notes for, for new things and hoping to get get started. So it's not the answer anyone anyone wants, but it's not been a, an easy environment to create new poetry in, from my perspective. Um, of course, Niall has a full-time job, so um, that's 
keeping you busy, Niall. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm live in the countryside and and I don't have a full time job anymore. So I don't I haven't actually found as far as my writing goes. There's much difference except sometimes you 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 think think what why am I <laughs> bothering with anything really but um and even the poetry sort of you, sometimes you can just think well what's going to going to happen is this ever even going to find a home anywhere but fortunately so far most of the magazines and the publishers have kept going so there's 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 hope <laughs> but um as far as the topics uh, I w I've written a few poems that I'm sort of almost trying to avoid writing about the pandemic itself because there's lots of that happening um but I've written a few. I wrote one. We we got moles for the first time in the garden this summer ever, and I suddenly went, "Oh, if that isn't a metaphor, the moles under the ground hiding, in 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 sort of their own personal lockdown, and they've come in, into my under my garden, and and suddenly I just thought of moles as as a really good um, and in, and that poem just came in in Gaelic. It, it I don't know why. I think because I've been wanting to write about moles for a long time. And there, there they were, <laughs> gift from heaven, but uh, or not. But, uh. You mentioned Robert Frost, Deborah. Um, what are your favorite poets? The Phileas well, Farnham. Um, um, well, I, I'm, in, in English, certainly Frost was was always there for me. And um, I went through Ginsburg and Ferlinghetti in my teenage years, as you do, and I still like them and Gary Snyder. But um, I am reading a lot of poems in, in Gaelic um, all the time now as well. And I like Niall's poetry. I like Peter Mackay, um, the two. Mm -hmm. They're they're not the same, but they 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 both speak to me certainly, and. Um, um well sorely mclean you have to really like what he did i don't like to listen to him but i i, do, I just love like halleck and and um coelia rather say that they really really talk. almost halleck in fact has a, a, a bit of it which is very similar to something that that robert frost wrote um about birches and bending birches and young girls and I thought that that's interesting. So you sort of find in unintended, um, I expect, um, links between two poets that you wouldn't really think would have anything in all of the countryside and in the, the, the area they came, well, they live in. But um, those are mine. I don't know who, um, if anybody else has his favorite po poets. <laughs> I spend a lot of time with. Um, yeah, I spend a lot of time with Tommaso Rahali's anthology uh, *Dante Gra*, and um, mm. that book is almost always beside me when I'm writing, um, and that's because when I finished my first book, I found I was starting from scratch with every new poem, and I was trying this and trying the next thing. Um, I wasn't going to write in free verse because I don't very often read poetry in free verse that wasn't going to work for me. Um, and so I found in Filioch Nascola and the, I suppose, the aristocratic amateur imitation of Filioch Nascola, which came after it. I found this, this style and these forms of poetry that I could try and use in a modern way or in a way that suited my purposes. So I've been constantly reading and rereading early modern mm -hmm. Irish and Scottish Gaelic love poetry. And then in the in the, the more recent period, in poets like Nola Nigono and Betty Jenkinson, mm -hmm. but also Michal Hartnitje, who I just think is a, a wonderful, wonderful yeah. poet. Wonderful. And a neoclassicist as well in a way that appeals to me. And then a poet that Irish readers of poetry may be much less familiar with is a poet called George Campbell Hay. Who we usually call in Gaelic Jorsa Machi and Jorsa, who was writing from the 1930s onwards, and he is a a really incredible, probably unsurpassed virtuoso of modern 
Gaelic poetry, and he manages to bring together this style which is very Gaelic in its understanding of the tradition, but he's also a polyglot and a European, and he's drawing on North African poetry and Italian poetry and, and so on. So to all readers of Irish, I would say George Campbell Hay, please, mm -hmm. I would recommend him to anyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'd say um, I had very little um, experience of poetry uh, in my uh, before I was thirty. I'd say um, I had, I suppose, I wasn't introduced to um, very much outside of what was at school, and it um, it took me years to find it. Although I do think I was always looking for it. I remember once. Um, being told that Anthony Cronin had a poem about liking corners because I liked corners and and so I went and sought out his book and you know and that was Anthony Cronin but that was you know I didn't have a context for him um, and it was very slowly then in, in my thirties now I read everything and I'm more than making up for it uh, for any losses um, or omissions. I should say, uh, and I read from uh, in, widely in Irish, I read Scots Gaelic, I read English, I read translations um, in English or in Irish, a, a lovely selection of um, w recent ones I came across, uh, a collection by um, mm, um, there is set where Alvany Garvey and Elaine Niquillanon translate. Uh, it's not um, Cushliffe, Cushliffe, um published them. Um, well, they take it from poets. Um, Lima Murla, Gabriel Rosenstock, um, Tomas Maximon, Estuela Mantinella, Agus. You know, Estonam Vitosa Kainter um uh on sorry, you were speaking about translating there that that's what you were doing in your um spare time as it were, and you're awaiting for your um muse to appear. Uh but I, I think that's a brilliant way to occupy the poet uh, in you when there's nothing else happening. I think it's brilliant training for us, and it's um, I I've done a little and uh, nothing extensive, but um, I'm very interested in the effect of it. Is that catalog? I was um... not. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say there, there's a, there's a famous Catalan poet who I love called Josep Carnet, and he writes that translation is the best way to learn to write well. And I just think that's true. I just... In what way does the city influence your um, portrait now, city life? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say, I, I, I mean, Lots of things. I mean, I've been kind of exiled from Glasgow during this pandemic because I'm no longer going into the city to work. And so I'm missing it. And I think one of the things about the city is just the variety of people that you're going to meet there. And the other thing that matters to me about Glasgow as a city is that my family, one half of my family, came to Glasgow from Ireland in the 19th century and the other half of my family are still in Derry. So Glasgow is an immigrant city, I suppose probably all big cities in one way or another are immigrant cities of a different kind. And so I think that when you're writing in and about the city, then you're necessarily writing stories about people who at some stage in the past have come from somewhere else. And so when I was writing these this, this Mungo and St Enoch poems, 
which were part of a commission. It was a way of trying to find a way of writing poetry which was meaningful for the city without being a kind of journalism in verse, because I work as a journalist, I didn't have any interest in writing a kind of journalistic style of poetry. But I found if we well, went back to this, these mythical stories, the, the saints' lives, you found these stories which were absolutely contemporary in what they're telling us about immigration and, and prejudice and, and, and all these situations and dispossession. Um, so I think there's a way of, I, for me at least, there was a way of finding in the old stories something that was true to the contemporary life of a 21st century city, certainly the one I know. Good meal, Mahagad Nile. Kaib may creak a curlish in Tronona Inish. August, good meal, Mahagad. August, Tasulagam. We hope that you will come to Cork when the pandemic is over and we'll see you in OVM. Slan, August, back. 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 Slan, August, back.